वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम दिग्दर्शनी सो आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड डूइंग ग्रेट सो टूडे इज वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी येट अनदर ट्यूटोरियल बिकॉज यू गैस रिक्वेस्टेड यू ऑन इंस्टाग्राम बाई द वे आई पोस्टेड दिस फोटो ऑन माई इंस्टाग्राम एंड आई लॉन्ड ऑफ यू गैज लव इट एंड आज मी फॉर अ ट्यूटोरियल सो ऑन यू रिक्वेस्ट हियर आई एम विद द ट्यूटोरियल सो टूडे इज वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी एजुकेशनल एंड इंट्रैक्टिव वीडियो यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न सो मेनी टूल्स ऑफ फोटोशॉप टूडे इन दिस वीडियो सो स्टे ट्यून टिल द एंड एंड वॉच इट टिल द एंड सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट बट बिफोर गेटिंग टू स्टार्ट आई रियली वॉन्ट टू अर्ज ऑल ऑफ यू गाइज टू गो एंड फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम इफ यू आर एंड फॉलोइंग मी येट देयर सो दिस इज माई फीड आई होप यू लाइक इट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ डिजिटल आर्ट वर्क इज गोइंग ऑन बाय द वे इन अ वीक आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट माई ट्रैवल फीड अगेन येस ओ माई गॉश इट्स बीन सो लॉन्ग दैट आई आई वॉज नॉट पोस्टिंग ट्रैवल पिक्चर्स ऑन माई इंस्टाग्राम बिकॉज मेरी मेघालय के पिक्चर्स आ गई है मेरे पास एंड आई एम सो एक्साइटेड एंड कैन नॉट वेट टू पोस्ट एंड ऑल्सो इफ यू आर न्यू हियर ऑन माई चैनल सो प्लीज हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड प्रेस द बेल नोटिफिकेशन देयर सो यू विल बी नोटिफाइड एवरी टाइम आई पोस्ट अ न्यू वीडियो ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो दैट्स देयर सो सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट एड ऑल राइट गाइज सो टूडे इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू टू क्रिएट दिस पिक्चर That is not a tricky manipulation at all, but I am going to make you learn so many tools of Photoshop and their usage while we do the editing. So the first step is to unlock the background layer just by double clicking on it, or you can just press on the lock symbol. Now, as you know that I have an eye for detailing in every picture. P.S. You should have it too. So I am going to remove all the unwanted items in this picture, just like my phone lying on the floor, just like that. Can you see that? So let's just zoom in the picture and we are going to use a couple of tools here. So first we are going to use spot healing tool brush and the second one is the clone stamp tool. So just select the tool called spot healing brush which is available on the 8th of the side tool bar. You can just right click on it and find the tool there and now just hover on your phone. and it is going to do its magic by healing the spot let me tell you a trick this spot healing brush tool works best for face portraits to remove the blemishes or pimples and now if you think that it's not working for your picture now it's turn for you to choose the another tool that is the clone stamp tool so choose it it is available on the 10th of the tool bar To make it work just press on the alt on your keyboard and select the area that you want to clone for the desired area Can you see how seamlessly it just removed my phone from the ground without leaving any stains? Similarly, you can remove all the unwanted items and subjects from your picture. So as we are done with that, let's just color grade the picture now. For that, click on the filter which is available on the top of the tool bar. Click on it and then move your cursor to camera raw filter. It just opens you up a mini Lightroom. You can skip it and do it in your phone, but I like to do it here because this is much convenient. Can you spot a popping difference in this picture already? Now, moving ahead with the picture, I want my hands to look abnormally big. I don't know why, but I want to make it like that so that it looks like I have taken the picture from GoPro. It looks cool though, isn't it? So, I'm going to open another picture in which I am holding the cards very closely to the camera. So, I'm going to open this picture in another page. And what I'm going to do here is to cut the hands from this picture and place it over our main picture. So how is that done? You already know it, don't you? So I am going to make a particular selection of the hands by clicking on the quick selection tool on the sidebar of the toolbar. You can also use the pen tool which makes the selection more accurate. So as you are done selecting the hands Now drag the particular area and drop it over our main picture. Now adjust the hand so that it does not look fake. You can do it by transforming and for that you have to press control T in your keyboards. Now 
and now i'm going to color grade my hands as well by clicking on the filter and then going to camera raw filter so that my both layers are color balanced and yeah i think it looks pretty convincing what do you think so now the next step is to place all the cards in the air which looks very playful but the process could be very tricky so please pay attention to it these are no stock images guys these are the pictures that i clicked by myself from my camera if you may be wondering how i did it so i clicked about 20 to 30 pictures of my cards just by placing the cards on the floor randomly but keeping the perspective in my mind so I am going to select the card with the help of quick selection tool and, and after making the selection I am going to drag this particular card and place it over the main picture. So I have decided to place this card on the floor. So for that I have to adjust and transform the card just like we did earlier. Press Ctrl T and then right click. Make some changes in the perspectives and distort a bit and then wrap the card if necessary. Now if that satisfied you, let's make some shadows. Because you know, that's my favorite part. Before creating shadows, I would suggest you to rub out the sharp edges of the card layer with the help of the brush tool. Now let's make some shadows on the background layer. Use the brush tool to make shadows. Keep the opacity to the minimal, brush thickness should be minimal as well and keep the flow as broad as possible. Select the darkest color and run over the background layer. And voila, we are done creating some shadows here. And if you want your card to pop out, just color grade it and make it vibrant. You already know how to do it, don't you? I want to place another card on the floor. So let's repeat all the old steps that we just did now for the card 1. I want to throw a few cards in the air as well so for that just select the card you want to throw in the air and place it over the main picture make some adjustments and place it perfectly now it's the turn to show some magic over here and the name of the magic is the shadows yes so how do we make it simple just follow these steps. Make a copy of that particular layer by clicking on Ctrl J. Drag the copied layer beneath the main layer. And now we have to reduce the brightness of the copied layer. For that, go to image, click on the adjustments and then click on hue and saturation. There you can see a box. Take the slider of the lightness button to the utmost left side. And now you can see that the copied layer has been turned into black color. Press OK. You can notice that it looks very stiff, doesn't it? So to make it actually look like a shadow, you just have to blur it. For that, move your cursor to the filter. Go to blur and then click on the Gaussian blur. Make some adjustments according to your preference and then press OK. You can see it already looks like a shadow, but it looks too dark. So reduce the opacity of the copied layer to somewhere around 65 or 68. And we are done making a shadow on the wall of our desired card. We are going to edit few more cards in the air. So let's do it with all the same step.
so today i'm going to show you a retouch of my face as promised in the previous class so let's do it firstly i like to take out all the blemishes or pimples on my face by using the spot healing brush tool let's just come to the most exciting parts of adding highlights to our cheekbones so the tool is basically called the dodge tool which is present right above the blur tool so click on that keep the strength or exposure to 5 or 10 percent and then hover the tool making highlights over the highest points of your face just like cheeks, chin or nose. Also you can use this dodge tool anywhere to add highlights on your body. And after that I like to add some softness to my skin by using the blur tool which you can find on the 15th of the side toolbar. So to use it please be very careful about the strength of the blur tool. It need not to be very high it just needs to be subtle around 10 or 15. Just move it over the desired area. almost done it's just that we are left with adding some bouquet lights or you can call it as a lens flares it adds so much character to the picture for that click on the layers which is on the top of the toolbar and click on the new fill layer and then click on the gradient change the mode to the screen now a box will pop up which says gradient fill in which you can choose your own color according to your preference and then play with the angle and scale and place it wherever you want and yeah that's it i think it looks quite phenomenal yeah that's about it i hope you loved the video please let me know in the comment section below if you found this video helpful and informational i would love to know and also please let me know if i should continue making more such tutorial videos for you guys and if you are loving it and i will be really honored and happy to make these for you guys so yeah i will end this video and i'll take a leave here in the next video i'm going to come up with this tutorial i'll see you next time till then take care spread love stay safe and bye